Hey, fifth graders, uh, happy new week of school. And here we are on our little um, December distance learning, a uh, December to remember. Uh. All right, so uh, remember, not much changes now with uh, orchestra other than you're getting one 10 minute lesson from me and you should have already signed up uh, through Google Meets uh, so you know when your lesson is. So take a look at the newsletter. It's got everything you need, everything you need including our challenge. Remember, every week during December to remember, we are going to do a challenge and, and the winner gets something fun. So here it is this week, right? You're going to make a camera buddy. You're going to make something. Uh, look at the newsletters, get some pictures and different ideas. And then this slides over your computer so that when you're on your cam, you'll have like a, li a, a little camera buddy. You can use Legos, you can use string, you can use pictures, you can use pencils. doesn't matter. Just do it for fun. And uh, uh, just uh, uh, the winner will get pizza or Sandy's Donuts or something like that delivered to your house. Winners announced this Friday. Okay, so fifth graders, first things first. Let's take a look at the bow hold. Remember, who's the best teacher you've ever had? Say yourself. Who's the best teacher I've ever had? It's me. Who's the best teacher you've ever had? It's you. I can't be in the same room as you now until after the new year. So you're going to have to be your best teacher. Take a look at your uh, bow hold. Violin and violas, it's got to look just like this. Middle two fingers, first finger, pinkies curved, and that thumb needs to be bumped just like this. Cellos, middle metal, ring dot, pinky half on, and then our thumb is straight like this. Let's try this for a moment. Can everyone take your pointer finger and stick it through our bow, just as good review, go like this, and now here we've got our flat hand, just like this, go just like this, okay? And then say, here's flat wrist, right? Now do it wrong. Wrist high, that's not good. Wrist low, what do we want? Say flat wrist, see that? Bad, bad, good. Okay, nice and flat. Bad, bad, good. Nice and flat. Violin and violas, your pinky should be on top. All right, let's make a T on your D in lane three. And by the way, violin players, if you want to stand now that you're at home, go for it. Go for it. We're all making a T on our D in lane three, just like this, making a T on our D in lane three. Cellos, we're looking just like that. Middle of the road, don't run over grandma. Let's play four Ds together. Ready, play four Ds, elbow bend and go. Down, up, down, up. Rock your arm and go to A now. Trying to be a cello player, A, A. Rock your bow to D four times and D, D, D. D, rock it to your A and play it there now. To be great, we bow straight. To be great, we bow straight. Reviewing what we did last cycle, to where we put all our fingers down on our D string. So let's do that right now. All your fingers down on your D string. Your bow is down, we're gonna pluck it. So all your fingers down on D. Ready, all your fingers go. All of them, next tape, next tape. Now first tape, one, 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 now open D, no finger, D, 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 pick up your bow and let's airbow that. So we're just going down step by step, tape by tape, step by step, tape by tape. Here we go, bow in the air, we're rocket ship airbowing. All our fingers are down on our D string. Here we go, rocket ship and ready, now all of them, now lift and go to next tape, next tape, now first finger, ready, and one, 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 now open D and D, D, D. What's our next step? Say, play it for real. Now we're going to bow it for real. All our fingers are down on our D string. Here we go. Ready, all your fingers and go. Lift, next one. Now booger, one. Open Dino fingers. If you want to pause the camera and do that a few times, you may. What string were we just on? Say me D string. We're just on me D string. I want you to do the same exact finger pattern, but go to your A string. Same exact, same exact finger pattern, but go to your A string. Here we go. All our fingers are down on our A, and we're going to just come down the ladder. Here we go. All your fingers are down. Actually, I'm going to grab a cello. I'm going to play with the cellos. Here we go. Ready? Okay, here we go. So we're going all our fingers down on our A, and we're going to come down the scale. Here we go. Ready? All our fingers down on our A. Violin and violas, you're, getting, uh, you're playing with this as well. All your fingers down on your A. Go. Now lift next tape. Now first finger down. Now open A, no fingers. 
You want to practice that, the same finger pattern, right? Cellos that goes 4 4 4 3 3 3 1 1 1 0 0 0. Violin and violas, what does yours go? 3 3 3 2 2 2 1 1 1 0 0 0. I want to talk left hand shape. Cello players, take a look. Make sure that your four fingers on your A string looks just like this. Right on the tape. It's nice and curved. Right on the tape. Thank you. Violin and violas, here's what you have to look like. Notice, I want to talk about a hamster. Look at dead hamster, a live hamster. This is bad. We don't want that. We want space in here for a little hamster, a little mouse to live. Bad, good. Okay, a new word for today. It's called bow lift. Everyone say bow lift. And the, the point of a bow lift is you do two down bows in a row. So it's like an airplane. You go down, up in the air, and then you land again. Down, lift. So, so it looks like this. Watch first. Lift and land and set. Lift and land and set. Play with me. Here we go. Cellos. Same thing. I'll pretend I'm playing a cello right now. Here we go. Ready and go now. Down, bow, lift and set and land. Lift and set and land. So go ahead and do those. Those are called bow lifts. And we're going to need it for a song that we're going to do next week. All right. Final goal of the day, guys. Please go to page number 14 and look at Jingle Bells. It's song number 42. Look on page number 14 in thy book, and let's look at Jingle Bells. I want you to write in the notes for the first line. Now, you can do it on your own. Remember, look at the very top of page 14. We have all our notes written in there. Look at the very top. Remember that box we wrote in our notes? What are the notes on the top of page 14? D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D. Now, look at the first line of song number 42, Jingle Bells. Pause it if you want to and write your notes in for the first line of 42, go. Okay, welcome back. Now I want you to, um, let's check to see if you didn't. We're just doing the first line. By the way, the first and third line are identical, just so you know. Ready and say it. F, 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 ch, F, 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 ch, F, A, D, E, F, ch, ch, ch. That's our goal. We just said it. Now, your bow should be down. Now we're going to pluck it. Here we go. Ready? We're plucking the first line of Jingle Bells. Here we go. Two and ready and pluck and go. F, 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 ch. Three more Fs. F, F, F. Now, can you look ahead and F, A, open D. So what's going to be the hardest part of that line? Is it the first notes or the last notes? Say the last notes. Let's say those five notes. Ready, go. F, A, D, E, F. Now let's think about that. Look at your last. Let's look at the last three notes. What are they? What are they? D, E. Well, it's like going up a staircase, Mr. Cool. Santa's going up the chimney. Say the last three notes. Here we go. Ready? D, E, F. Let's just pluck the last three notes. Okay, we got this. It's a scale. Ready? D, E, F, and go. D, E, F. E, F. Do that with your eyes closed. Ready? D, E, F, and go. D, E, F. Are your fingers on the tape? Are you getting ringy tone? Now, before you go D, E, F, what are the notes? Say fa. Get it? Fa, la, la, la. Fa. F, A, fa. F, A, do the scale. Say it, go. F, A, do the scale. Let's pluck it. Here we go. F, A. Ready? And F, and go. F, A, D, E, F. F, do it again two more times, then we air bow it. F, A, D, E, F. Let's air bow that. Stick your bow in the air. Get your, your fingers on your second tape. Cello three, violin, viola two. Ready, F, A, air bow, go. F, go to open A in your mind. Now scale, D, E, F. Listen to it. I'm going to play it, then you're going to play it with me. Do the last three notes, D, E, F. Here we go. Ready, D, E, F with me, go. Lift your bow and let's do that again. Ooh, there's a bow lift. Here we go. Ready, last three notes, D, E, F, go. D, E, F. Now let's go F, A without stopping. F, A, ready, F, A, and go. Open A. 
Try that. Ready, F, and then open A. Now go F-A-D. It's a fad. F-A-D. Here we go. Ready, F-A, then open D. Open A. Open D. And then you go up the scale. Let's do the first three notes. Those are pretty easy. Say them. Go F, F, F. Just a bunch of Fs. Here we go. Cello's three fingers down. Violin and viola's two fingers down. Here we go. Right under your F. Ready and three Fs go. Three more Fs. Now F, A, D. Open A. D, E, F. That's me goal this week, guys. The first line of bingle gels or jingle bells. F, 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 F. Here's me goal. Don't tell anyone. But by the time we're done with a December to remember our three weeks of distance learning, I want you to have memorized jingle bells so that when you Skype your grandma and grandpa or Google Meet or Zoom them or Loom them or whatever you do, you can say, Grandma, Grandpa, I'm going to play bingle or jingle bells for you. And then you're just going to rip it off. I want you to get, and oh, I'm bribing you. Just wait, guys. Trust me, you're going to want to get this because I'm bribing you with something. I'm not going to tell you because it is not any of fun. All right, uh, if you watch the Vikings, it's Sunday night, and I'm so glad the Vikings won. And our sponge of the state football champions. How awesome is that? Focus, Mr. Cole. I want to talk about the Vikings briefly. 30-second life lesson. The kid, the, the guy, the Viking, who caught the winning touchdown with 46 seconds left, a minute before that happened, what happened to him? He had a really bad fumble. Really bad fumble. Almost When that happened in my mind, I thought, oh, there's a the game. But you know what? He didn't, he didn't focus on that. He focused on what doesn't matter where you've been, it's where you're going. This Viking fumbled, but then a minute later, he scored the winning touchdown. Guys, I don't care where you've been. I want to know where you're going. I don't care where you've been. I don't care if you did or didn't practice last week or what your attitude or anything like that. Guys, what matters most to me is what we're going to about to do. I had a coach many years ago who said this. Ryan, what's the most important play in football? And the right answer is the next one. Say that. What's the most important play? The next one. What's your most important class? The next one. What's your most important note? The next one. Most, what's your most important conversation you're going to have with your mom or dad? The next one. Always thinking about what you're going to do next. Okay. Well, uh, I wish you were here. Mm. Make a camera, buddy. Okay. It's due by Friday at noon. Uh, and, and we're going to have prizes, you know, because we, we like to do stuff like that. All right. I got to go. Bye, guys. See you later.